All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Barashem Yahushai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Melson and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the Overland, and say, Look, this is Brother Makaza from a trend that camp. Just want to do a little edification for the lexic. And the name of this lesson would be The Blessings Are Ready. All right, the blessings are ready as the Lord. You know, he, he, when he was on earth, when he was preaching, where he kept saying, he kept saying that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. Even he, he told his apostles, you know, when you go out, preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Even, the, you know, Paul, when he was going to the churches, he, he said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And this is what we said in these last days. The kingdom of heaven is even more at hand than it was back then. Basically, the kingdom of heaven being at hand is, is the tribes of Israel coming back to the Mosai. But the deliverance where the Lord, Yahweh Shai, coming in the vehicles that they called UFOs, all right, which are the chariots of the Mosai, to render recompense unto the wicked and the salvation of the elect, that, that is close. And the scripture says, it says, even at the doors, all right? And the scriptures also said he will bring healing in his wings, all right? Paul said in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. So all those are blessings. Healings, we wouldn't be able to be sick anymore. We're not going to go off anymore. All right? Um, we're going to be in, in that spiritual body, in spiritual powers. We're going to be in a kingdom that's filled with righteousness. All right? The enemy is not going to be ruling over us anymore. So all these blessings are about to come upon us. Just like the Lord said he will rejoice over you to bring the curse. And now he will rejoice to bring the blessings. And this will be patiently waiting on. All right. This is Hosea 6 and verse 1. It says, come and let us return unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right. Let us come and return unto him. All right. Because we have dealt evil by departing. and went on to idols. All right. In these last days, went on to Jesus, went on to Allah. We went on to, you know, all these other false gods that can't do anything good or bad for us. All right. They can't even do anything for themselves. All right. And we departed from the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So now, in these last days, we are out there on the forefront, beginning with the apostles all the way down. We out here preaching and saying, return, repent, and turn back to the Lord. Turn back to the Lord. And the reason why I keep stressing on turn back, because there's only one people can turn back to the most high. You could only only turn back to where you once were. All right? If you if you never lived in a particular city, how could you go back home when to begin with it wasn't your home? All right? So the ones that the Lord speaking to are the lost are the, are, the, are the sheep of the lost tribe of Israel. All right? The lost sheep of Israel. These are the ones that the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, sent us out here to redeem. All right? So he says, come and let us return unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. For he had torn, meaning he cast us out of the land. All right? And he will heal us. The Lord is healing us right now. All right? Giving us understanding of this word. That is healing. All right? We don't have to be, you know puzzled and, and and worried and don't you know do have no certainty of life we 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 know it we, we don't know our right hand from our left or as we say we don't know our ass from our elbows all right the lord healing us right now giving us understanding of these words showing us that we are not just some filth of the earth we are the princes of the universe sons of yahweh sons of god all right it says, and he will heal us. He had smitten by putting the curses on us, casting us into slavery. And as the scripture said, that all the heathen should know that Israel went into captivity because of their iniquities. That is the only reason we were cast down. We were cast down as a people because we sinned. All right. Jeremiah 5.25, that iniquities have withholden good things from thee. This is the reason why we went off. All right. Why we were scattered. Because of our iniquities. Alright. And he will bind us up. It says after two days he will revive us. And from since Yahweh Shai been on earth. It's been two days. So we've been revived the valley of dry bones. And in the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Alright. And the salvation is right around the corner. The blessings are ready. 
the blessings are ready and the scripture says blesses he that wait on the lord so we waiting we waiting on the lord for that deliverance all right going out there and pushing that word and waiting trying to keep our garments as clean as we possibly can unto the coming of the lord all right this is our this is our main duty all right this is the book of psalms chapter 30 and verse 5 it says, for his anger enjoyed but for a moment. He did. He says, now will I go and return to my place until they seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. And when the Lord turns away from us and takes away that hedge, the enemy comes in. As the scripture says, Israel have, um, roughly paraphrased, and forsaken anything that, will good, that was good. The enemy shall pursue him. There's in Hosea. All right. So when the Lord took away that hedge, the enemy came in and they crushed us under their feet and subdued us. All right. So all that happened in 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 the moment that the Lord, you know, his his anger was enduring. It says, "For his anger endured, but for a moment, in his favor is life." All right. The Lord said He came to give life and give it more abundant. All right. In his favor is life, and he's going to give us everlasting life. All right? It says, weeping may endure for a night. All right? Weeping endured for a night. We've been here for years. But now we've been re waking up. We're rejoicing at the, at the common and the heralding of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Because we know we're going to be delivered. We know Israel is not going to be in this position for much longer. All right? It is even at the doors. It is even at the doors. All right. It says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Are we waiting for that day start to rise upon us? All right. The blessings are ready. Yahweh Shai done ready. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai been ready to bless us. But because of our obstinate and, and, and stiff, obstinate heart and stiff neck, you know, the Lord, he, 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 he scattered us, you know, throughout the four corners under the whole heaven. All right, because of our iniquities. All right, let me read this real quick. This is um, Psalms, Psalms eighty-one and verse thirteen. It says, "Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways, I should have." I, I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. So if we had listened to the Lord and followed in his word, guess what? All, all our enemies would have been subdued and we would have been in peace. We wouldn't have known anything about slavery, but except for, for, in, for in Egypt. But after that, we, would, we wouldn't have, you know, we would have been on top. The Lord said that in the blessings in Deuteronomy chapter 28. He says, we shall only be the head. We will only be the head. All right? If we had only listened, but this, the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. So it was meant for us to go off because it was prophesied. All right? That is why Isaiah said, Lord, why hast thou caused us to err from thy parts? All right? It was, it was pre preordained for us to go off. All right? So that prophecies will be fulfilled. But no. Prophecy is still fulfilling and the Lord redeeming us. He buying us back. The reason we went off is that the Lord could have shown his what? His merciful side. Think about we, we, we doing so much iniquity. Corrupting ourselves so much. Going so far off from the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. And just like the parable that Yahweh Shai told with the, 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 um, the rich man and the two sons. When the son... You know, the Christians like to call the prodigal son, all right? When the prodigal son returned, the father, you know, he just, he just, you know, he was, he was just overjoyed. He was just overjoyed because his son returned. And this is the mindset that Yahaba Hashem Yahushai in. There's, there's joy in heaven when one sinner turn and repent. All right? The Lord just wants you to follow in him. So the Lord just wanted to show his merciful side by allowing us to go so far off. All right? Look, it says here in verse 12, it says, uh, I said at verse 11, it says, But my people would not hearken unto my voice, and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them up unto their own hearts. Lust. 
and they walked in their own counsel. So the Lord gave us up to uncleanness. And we went a whoring, we went strain, but now he's cleansing us and bringing us back. Showing us how merciful he could be. All right? Jeremiah, um, Isaiah chapter 3, it says, um, you know, if, if um, I believe it's Jeremiah chapter 3, it says, if a man put away his wife and she becomes the wife of another, um, shall he return unto her? Shall not that land be greatly defiled? He says, but thou art played the harlot, you know, with many lovers, roughly paraphrasing, but, ret- but I say return unto me. The Lord wants Israel to return. All right, but he's cleansing us from all our blood to, so that we could return unto him because the Lord's want the Lord Yahweh Shai wants to bless us. He wants us to be in peace. He wants to show the world that this is his people, all right, in whom he is well pleased. All right. Isaiah 52 says, My I think it's verse 13 says, My servant shall be extolled very high. The Lord wants to bless the elect. All right. And this is what coming. The blessings coming. And I'm in Revelation, I believe it's Revelation 20. He said what? And there was no more curse. So for the blessings to come, the curses have to be taken away. And this is what the Lord doing. The Lord removing the curses from us. Getting ready to, to, to show us with them blessings. Alright? This is Isaiah chapter 48. And um, I believe it's verse 17. Ah, it says, Thus said Yahaba Shemiah Shai, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am Yahweh, thy God, which teacheth thee to profit. The Lord teaching us how to profit. All right? Do good and no evil shall touch you. This is how the Lord teaching us to profit. Just if you love me, keep my commandments. Just follow after the Lord. All right? It says, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. And the Lord leading us right now. This, my sheep hear my voice. He's leading us in the place that we should go and leading us on good grounds that well watered. All right? Giving us the commandment. Giving us the, 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 the understanding of this gospel. Giving us his name. Giving us his son's name. All right? Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is our strong tower. The righteous run it and are safe. The Lord giving us the means whereby we may live. So we have to hold on to it. This is not the time to leave the truth, to consider leaving the truth, to even want to be poor of the camps. All right? This is the time to hold on to it because your life depends on it. We almost at the end. Just hold on. All right? You know, like you're running a marathon and at the at the end, you see the finish line, but you know you, you've been you've been pushing so hard. And you know, when you reach close to the finish line, your feet feel like they want to give out from under you, but you know, you're, you're, you're tired, you're, 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 you might be getting stitched, you're, you're, your side hurting, all right? You're tired as hell, but, you know, the finish line right there and you're just pushing because, you know, you have to make it across. Even if you had to crawl, you have to make it across that finish line. That is the mindset that we have to be in this truth. The goal is to, as the scripture said, is to finish it, all right? Verse 18, it says, Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. So if we had listened unto the Lord, guess what? We'd have been blessed. We'd have been blessed. All right? We would have been blessed. If we had only hearkened unto the Lord. But because it was in us, as the scripture said, he knew he knew the intent of our hearts. And he knew that is a stiff-necked people. All right? This is the reason why the Lord have to give us a, 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 a new heart. That could keep the commandments, a fleshy heart that will be subjected unto his laws and not subject to sin. And that is how we're gonna be blessed. When the Lord give us that new body in a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, the dead shall rise incorruptible and we shall be changed. That is when we're gonna be blessed in that and fully blessed in that new body. That body that not subject to sin, but subject to the righteousness of Yahweh Shemia Shai. It says, thy seed also had been as the sun. A little one shall be a thousand, a small one, a great nation. The blessings are going to come. And thy offspring as of thy bowels, like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. One, because we're going to be immortal. All right? We're going to live forever. And two, we're going to have a lot of children. All right? 
as the scripture says, you know, increase thy tents. We're going to have to increase our dwelling places because guess what? It, it's going to be so much of us. It's going to be so much of us. The Lord going to bless Israel so exponentially that it's going to be so much that, you know, we, we, we wouldn't be able to dwell in the land alone. We're going to have to dwell around the whole coast of the earth. We're going to have to be dwelling all over. We're going to be dwelling in the universe. All right? Because there are going to be so much Israelites. All right? And this is this is the blessings that the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, is bringing on to us. And we just have to wait for it. That is all we have to do. Just wait for it. All right? Just wait. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. It's going to be well with the righteous. That is why it says, he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. All right. It says, for ye shall eat the fruit of, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. If, if you do good, good going to follow. All right. This is what he told Cain. If you do good, good going to follow. All right. It says, warn to the wicked, it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. All right? So the wicked, if you, the, the scripture said in Daniel um, chapter 12 and verse 10, it says, you know, the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. The wicked not going to understand that these are the times that the Lord returning unto the tribes of Israel. That Yahweh is his name, Yahweh is his son's name, and he coming to deliver us. Now it's not the time to be wicked, to be running around in debauchery and revelings, all right? Being a whore, all right? Being a, a homosexual, now it's not the time to be doing these wickedness. Now is the time to be cleansing your ways. Now is the time to cleanse your ways so that the Lord could open up the treasures of his mysteries onto you so that you could understand that you've been walking in darkness. Now is that time. Now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right? Now is not that time to live in the flesh. It, it is even at the doors. All right? Warn to the wicked, it shall be ill with him. So if you if you if you if you don't, you know, if if, if you if you want to, to die, because the scripture says the Lord called for mourning, but he saw eating and drinking. So you could go ahead and eat and drink, but it is guaranteed tomorrow you will die. That is why he said there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right? This is Isaiah 4 verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. He that remaineth, the remnant. All right? The ones that remain after the destruction psalms 91 all right the ones that escape the destruction only with thy eyes thou shalt behold the reward of the wicked they're gonna be called holy because they're gonna be in that body that not subject to sin it says even everyone that is written among the living in jerusalem it says when yahaba shemiel shai shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of zion this we he doing he cleansing us right now all right and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. The spirit of judgment is where, you know, we receiving our judgment now, as you see, he, he, uh, he corrects us in measure. So every time we go through hell, we catch tribulations, that is us paying for our old sins. All right. But the world, they're going to receive theirs at once. The Lord said that he's going to judge the circumcision with the uncircumcision. And they are all going to be destroyed. All right? He did with us. He admonished us as a father, but the others as a fear king. They're going to receive that, that, that judgment by spirit of burning. All right? This iniquity shall not be purged from you unless he die. So that is why two-thirds of our people have to be destroyed. Because guess what? The Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai didn't die for their sins. Yahweh Shai didn't die for their sins. He died for these, the sins of the elect. And that is why the elect going to be justified pursuant to Romans 8 and verse 30. All right. Um, this is Joel chapter 2 and verse 23. 
It says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in Yahabah Hashem Yahushai your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately. So yeah, we received the blessings for a little while. He was in the kingdom for a little while. All right? And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. So the Lord going to give us all them blessings at once. Then the scripture says, For your shame you shall have double. In Isaiah, I believe it's Isaiah 61. For your shame you shall have double. The Lord going to give us double. You're going to do better unto us than our beginnings. All right? Verse 24, it says, The floor shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow the wine. The scripture, I believe, roughly paraphrasing, it says that the um the, the sower will overtake the reaper, roughly paraphrasing. It's gonna be so much plenteous you know fruit in the land that it, it, you, you can't collect all. Alright? You, you wouldn't see a barren tree in the kingdom. Alright? It says, Thy floor shall be full wheat, and thy flats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm, my great army which I sent among you. Yet them heathens that came and came into our sanctuary and, 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 and sacked all Jerusalem, all right, took over all lands, all right? The Lord going to cast them out. As he said in Isaiah chapter 5, you know, he cast out the stones. He going to cast out the stones once again, all right? It says, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, your God, the God of Israel. All right? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. We're going to never be ashamed. All right? We're going to never be ashamed because we're going to go off no more. Nahum 1 and 9 said oppression shall not rise up a second time. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. We will never be ashamed again. We ain't going to go into captivity anymore. And these days will be waiting for. We waiting on that day when the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshai, going to deliver the tribes of Israel. All right? You know, so with that, you know, I hope it was edifying. All right? want to give, you know, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and I do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole flan sensei lek. This is a brother Makaza from Trend.com. Just want to say shalom and stay strong. Shalom.